GTA San Andreas, we're doing the story missions, NOE, Nap of the Earth, Double A Gamer for Life. Okay, so after you complete the flight school, you'll get a call from Uzi saying to come check out the new operation, and then the uh, little airplane marker will be here. Okay, so we got like four missions out here at the airport to do to make the airport an asset. The first two are for Torino. The next two are for the truth, dude. Get you again, Carl. You're half asleep. I could have killed you in nine different ways. Wake up and smell the coffee. You need to lay off the coffee. We got a problem. I got some guys out in the field need some equipment. If they don't get it, they'll be dead by nightfall. Then take it to them. Me take it to them? Yeah, why not? I got five guys watching me all the time. I got two in that hill, one over there, and two by satellite. If I go, my guys and I will be dead. I don't have a death wish. I'm a man of peace, son. Yeah, clear. Take the plane. Now, you're not ready yet, so stay low under the radar. Questions? Yeah, just one thing. Get to I... it. Wait, hey, listen. Listen to me for once. Why won't these guys come after me? Oh, they can't, because they're all posted on me. One DEA, one FBI, a Russian, a Cuban double agent, and my paymasters. Checks and balances. Nobody is watching anybody watching nobody. Know what I mean? Go. Whatever, man. Okay, this is by far one of my least favorite missions in the game. Okay, if you got exceptional piloting skills, you can take the fastest route. Um, you can cut through the, the mountains and the canyons and the treetops to stay low enough. But uh, I'm a fairly decent pilot, but my pilot skills aren't good enough to, to do that. So I'm basically going to take the easy way and head out to the water. And even that is a little bit on the challenging side to keep this plane uh, below radar and smooth for the whole trip. Okay, but by far the easiest way to go is to take the water. You don't have any kind of fuel gauge or time. Well, you do got a timer there, but you're not going to be pressed for it. Um, the toughest thing about this mission is just flying this stupid plane. Although this uh, single wing plane is a lot easier to handle than the biplane for sure but nevertheless uh, it's very touchy a little bit goes a long way and it's just hard to keep this thing at a steady level Okay, so when you get close to where I am, we're going to basically cut inland now and try to make it to the markers. It's a lot easier than going to the southern point and then cutting in. So just head back to the water, keep the plane under the radar, and uh, don't crash into the water and make your way back. And 
it's definitely not the shortest trip to that marker, but it's a lot easier than uh, flying through the trees and staying low without crashing and all that. Whoa. You know, like I just washed the belly of this plane a little bit. Yeah, when you keep popping in and out of radar, the train will be like, stay under the radar. And you're like, bite me, dude. Okay, you don't have to hit that marker. Just get the plane down on the airstrip without hitting the visibility meter and uh, basically mission passed. Wasn't the shortest trip and it wasn't very pretty, but we got it done and we got paid. That's the important thing. Double A Gamer for Life. We'll see you on the next one. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.